Transistors based on carbon rather than silicon could potentially boost computers' speed and cut their power consumption more than a thousandfold. Think of a mobile phone that holds its charge for months, but the set of tools needed to build working carbon circuits has remained incomplete until. A team of chemists and physicists at the University of California, Berkeley, has finally created the last tool in the toolbox, a metallic wire made entirely of carbon, setting the stage for a ramp-up in research to build carbon-based transistors and, ultimately, computers. Staying within the same material, within the realm of carbon-based materials, is what brings this technology together now, said Felix Fisher, UC Berkeley professor of chemistry, noting that the ability to make all circuit elements from the same material makes fabrication easier. That has been one of the key things that has been missing in the big picture of an all-carbon-based integrated circuit architecture. Metal wires, like the metallic channels used to connect transistors in a computer chip, carry electricity from device to device and interconnect the semiconductor. The UC Berkeley group has been working for several years on how to make semiconductors and insulators from graphene nano-ribbons, which are narrow, one-dimensional strips of atom-thick graphene, a structure composed entirely of carbon atoms arranged in an interconnected hexagonal pattern resembling the new carbon-based metal is also a graphene nanoribbon, but designed with an eye toward conducting electrons between semiconducting nanoribbons in all carbon transistors. The metallic nanoribbons were built by assembling them from smaller identical building blocks, a bottom-up approach, said Fisher's colleague, Michael Cromie, a UC Berkeley professor of physics. Each building block contributes an electron that can flow freely along the nanoribbon. While other carbon-based materials, like extended 2D sheets of graphene and carbon nanotubes, can be metallic, they have their problems. Reshaping a 2D sheet of graphene into nanometer scale strips, for example, spontaneously turns them into semiconductors, or even insulators. Carbon nanotubes, which are excellent conductors, cannot be prepared with the same precision and reproducibility in large quantities as nanoribbons. Nanoribbons allow us to chemically access a wide range of structures using bottom-up fabrication, something not yet possible with nanotubes, Cromie said. This has allowed us to basically stitch electrons together to create a metallic nanoribbon, something not done before. This is one of the grand challenges in the area of graphene nanoribbon technology and why we are so excited about it. Metallic graphene nanoribbons, which feature a wide, partially filled electronic band characteristic of metals, should be comparable in conductance to 2D graphene itself. We think that the metallic wires are really a breakthrough, it is the first time that we can intentionally create an ultra-narrow metallic conductor, a good, intrinsic conductor, out of carbon-based materials, without the need for external doping, Fisher added. Cromie, Fisher and their colleagues at UC Berkeley and Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory Berkeley Lab, will publish their findings in the September 25th issue of the journal Science. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you technological news. Thank you.